What's going on, Fight Fans? It's your boy, Jay Spoon. And today, we got another End of Undisputed video. If you've seen my other videos, you peeped and you've seen that I, I like using Ali a lot, but it just caters to my play style, you know? Um, I try not to play like these spammers out here, just throwing power punches. Now, here in round one, I was getting hit a little bit, but it's the first round. I'm trying to figure him out, figure out the combinations he likes throwing. Uh, his combination patterns, so just trying to read them and also score my points by landing that jab or going downstairs to the body and hit the right hook. Straight right, just misses. And as you guys can see in round two, you really start to swim without getting wet. Uh, as the great uh, Sugar Shane Mosley's trainer would say, um, I forgot his name, man. I wish I remember his name. But um, it's just one Google search away. I'm just too lazy to do it right now. But yeah, we just start landing our uh, short combinations one, two, and we get out the way. This dude did not know how to play as Tyson Fury at all. Like, he didn't even utilize his reach. He didn't throw out a single jab. And when he did, the timing was off. He didn't know how to. To find his distance and his range and all that, so yeah, that definitely played a part of him taking this loss. Straight right, just misses. This round still up for grabs with just ten seconds to go. Powerful. With fighters landing in these exchanges, the judge is gonna have a tough job. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. Then step back for just a moment. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Every time they punch, counter punch. Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What are you seeing so far? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Missing with that right hook. And they drop their guard. They get caught. Gotta like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. These are heavyweights, but I tell you what, that hand speed and footwork, they look like middleweights. This can be so frustrating when you're in such a fast fighter. Fast fighter can go three full shot combinations before you even let one up. That creates frustration. It's a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Is he going to punch himself out, though? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's start the bell to start the round. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fight. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool, don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. I've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know. Who would have thought 
Ali would get rattled like this. Looks like they've shaken it off. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. I don't want to punch out, but thought there might be more action here. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Looking to land the hook. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. They both want a high real knockout. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. Right here, he's kind of hitting me with some power shots, but I'm going to do another one. So I dodge right there and give him a power shot of my own. Give him a taste of his own medicine. And I score the knockdown right there. But he ends up getting me right back. He gets me right back after this. Yeah, I caught slipping on uh, my defense. If there's anyone that can get out of trouble, it's Muhammad Ali. And now they're right back into the fray. Muhammad Ali in trouble. He's got a bluff there. is not an option for these two. A lot of effort being exerted here. Well, Johnny, I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fager to pickpocket him. You guys are going to see right here, the combination all starts with the stiff power jab right there, and that just opens him up, and that goes body, body, power shot to the head, and he's down for the count. He, get, he ends up getting back up, saying, displaying his warrior heart, you know, Tyson Fury. One thing about Tyson Fury, he's going to get back up. But then he does this mistake of trying to, like, bring the fight to me instead of just trying to stay alive and, you know, recover from it. He comes right at me with the power shot, so I'm just going to make him pay him and try to counter punch him. And that's exactly what I ended up doing right there. And another combination that got him knocked down last time. And right here, I just start unleashing these power shots to put them back down on the canvas. And, oh, man, my body shots hurt. And that's going to do it, man. He got knocked down two times in a row. This late in the fight, he's not getting back up. He Ladies and gentlemen, a knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.